major shakeup at the TSA after that fallout from long security lines at airports. Passengers waiting for hours missing flights. Now the agency's head of security is out. ABC's David Curley is at Reagan National Airport with all those details. Good morning, David. Morning, Robin. Under pressure from passengers tweeting about long lines, airlines complaining about lost revenue, and a member of Congress calling for his head, the TSA administrator has removed his top security director. Weights measuring in hours help lead to the removal of the TSA head of security, Kelly Hogan, and not just the lines. We missed our flight and we're told there's nothing they can do. But also last year's 95% test failure rate, banned substances getting through checkpoints by undercover testers. Even with those test failures, Hogan was given a bonus $90,000 doled out in $10,000 increments. Those bonuses were given to somebody who oversees a part of the operation that was in total failure. Despite the criticism, the cloud of controversy a week and a half ago, the head of TSA was still supporting Hogan. I do not currently have a plan to remove Mr. Hogan. That changed with these continuing TSA lines. Word of the action tweeted out by that congressional committee. But will the removal of the head of security mean relief for the lines that have left flyers, missing flights in Chicago, sleeping on cots, or those lines snaking through the Atlanta terminal? There are still more of us flying and no additional TSA officers. The math that adds up to a summer of misery. Now the TSA administrator also announced he is creating a TSA command center. The idea is that they'll be able to deploy officers and canines to airports that are going to see heavy volume in a specific day. And that administrator is back on the hill, George, on Thursday, Wednesday rather, he'll get another grilling. All ahead of a big weekend. Okay, David, thanks very much.